Hi guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Hi teacher. Good evening. Hi teacher. Good evening teacher. Hello. I apologize for the delay, but I I had some some problems with with the computer. Just give me one second. I'm still trying to to fix it. Solo deme un momento que estoy teniendo un problema con mi computadora. Okay. Okay. Somebody to hear, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody. Okay, thank you. I think it's better. <laughs> okay, welcome to the class. I apologize for the delay. I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment and, and then we continue with the class. Okay, so guys, if you can activate the camera, please, please do it. Okay, and we start with Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Present. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Present. Thank you, Ana. And then we continue with Brian. Brian Javier. No. Brian is not here. Okay. <coughs> Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. And then Frida Yanine, Jose Galileo, Jose Rodrigo, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Luis Alfonso. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Concepcion. Maria Guadalupe. I'm sorry, Maria Elena Guadalupe. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And then Ivania Palma. Present, teacher. Okay. Nelson Gavarrete. Present, miss. Thank you. Omar Francisco. Eh, Oscar Villatoro. Present. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. And Jenny Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, then Christian Lazo, mm -hmm. Jose Arnoldo, Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay, Jonathan, thank you. Juan Carlos. Present. Okay, and then Mayra, Mayra Moreno. Okay, he's not here. Okay, everyone, welcome to the class. I hope you enjoy the weekend. It's Monday again. What did you do over the weekend, Lily? Tell me two activities, two things you did on the weekend. In my weekend, I worked. You worked? I worked at the city. You worked. Saturday and Sunday, Lily. Well, um, Sunday, uh, I went to the supermarket. Ah, okay. okay. And you have to work only Saturday, right? 
Eh, solo el sábado, solo el sábado le tocó, le tocó que trabajar. Ah, okay. Sí, el lunes a trabajo. Ok, all right. Well, I'm going to share something with you. Maybe you still remember this. Tal vez se acuerdan todavía de este, de esta picture that we, we looked at it last week. Can you see it? La pueden ver. Oh no. Not yet. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. So here you have different different activities. The idea is that you answer the questions. We will start with number one. Okay, Lily, can you mention one of your classmates? Lily puede mencionar alguno de sus classmates para que comencemos. Alguno de mis que yo no tuve este día de, la... de sus compañeros. No, solo mencione a alguien. No problem. Este... Voy a ver quién es. You have Blanca, Carlos, Nelson, Elena, Jonathan, Luis. Voy a elegir a, Voy a, elegir a una de mis amigas virtuales. Ah, ok. Who? Who did you say? A quien dijo? Sorry. Lily, me escucha. Laura, teacher. Laura, ah, okay. Okay, Laura, question number one. Help us with question number one, Laura. What okay. do you seldom do in your English class? What do you seldom do in your English class? Uh, I I don't I don't Se recuerda de la palabra I don't know I don't know in is sleep in the English class Ah okay That's good Laura Thank you that could be a good answer You can say I seldom sleep in the classes or I almost ever sleep in the uh, in the classes I almost never okay I, Laura mention uh, one of your classmates uh, Maria Concepcion Maria Concepcion is not there in this moment oh, okay entonces sería Blanca Elizabeth Blanca okay Blanca thank you Laura question number two what do you often do on the weekends what do you often do on the weekends? Question number two. Do you understand the question? Entiende la pregunta. Más o menos. A menudo, ¿qué hacen fin de semana? Weekends, yes, yes. ¿Cómo decirle? Descansar, no sé cómo decir descansar. Rest. I rest. I rest. I rest. Ajá. Uh -huh. On the weekend. On the weekends, yes. That is what you often do. Thank you, Blanca. Mention the next person. Mencione la siguiente persona. Mention the next person. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Okay, thank you, Blanca. So, Juan Carlos, question number three. Where do you usually go on holidays? Where do you usually go on holidays, Juan Carlos? Are you there, Juan Carlos? I usually uh, visit my brother. Uh, where does he live? Uh, near here, near my home. Okay, it's not far away. What else yes. do you do? Do you 
Do you prepare food? Or do you, I don't know, what else do you do? Uh, dinner with my family. Dinner. Uh, yes. Okay, Juan Carlos. Thank you. Can you mention the next person, Juan Carlos? Mr. Gabarrete. Okay, thank you. Can you continue, Nelson, please? Okay. Question number uh, four. What kinds of things you do you never do in your free time? What would be the answer for that question? What kinds yes, of yes, things? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you never do? ¿Qué es lo que hago en tiempo libre? Algo así lo entiendo. Never. That you never do. On the weekends. Que nunca. Weekend. Never. Que no, lo que nunca se hace. Ah, que usted. Que usted no hace. Ah, ok. Es a... Uh, eh, I... A... Uh, ah, well. ¿Hm? Lo que yo no hago el fin de semana, algo así lo entiendo la pregunta, no. ¿verdad? ¿Qué es algo que nunca hace en su tiempo libre? Ah, ah ok. <ríe> I'm sorry. No problem. Something you never do. I do, I do rest. I never, I never, ever, I never, I never rest. rest. Why not? Por qué no, Nelson? Why not? Eh, Oliver is a war. ¿Eh? Eh, siempre tengo algo que hacerle. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. You have a busy life. Okay, Nelson, thank you. Can you yes. mention the next person? One more person, Nelson. Oh, yes. eh, eh, vamos a ver quiénes los que están conectados. You have Wendy, Alfonso, Luis Alfonso, Cristian, Elena, Ivania, Saida. Elena. 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 Okay, Elena. Last question. What sports do you sometimes play? I sometimes play football. Okay. How often? On the weekends? Or once a month? Once a month or three, three almost months? Three times or three times a month. Oh, okay, it's kind of often. Okay, Maria Elena, thank you for your comments. That is to practice frequency, frequency adverbs. Now we will continue talking about HR. Vamos a seguir hablando sobre HR. So, again, what does HR mean, Zaira? What does HR mean? Just activate the microphone, please. Okay, Zaira. Now it's good. What does HR mean? ¿Qué significa HR, Saira? Um, human resource. Human resources. Uh -huh. Thank you, Saira. Now, question for Carlos. What do they do, Carlos? What does human resources do? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, human human resources are many many action or, or many um, responsibilities and activities. Many responsibilities, many activities. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember oh, one part is uh -huh. I, I like the the human resource. Uh, promote the the the, uh, the good employees, uh, good um, um, 
environment. Uh, uh, environment. A work environment. environment. Uh -huh. They promote. Uh, also, also uh -huh. uh, is a track for the good people or others, good people. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was two activities. Any other one? Tiene otras or only that? O solo eso? On, on, Just that. that. Okay. So let's continue with Alfonso. What about you, Alfonso? Can you mention other activities human resources does? Okay, she's good. Okay, teacher. Good, good night, everybody. Uh, the human resource is chart uh, choose the best candidate for for a job or, or an activity in in company. Okay, the best mm -hmm. candidate. Mm -hmm. Correct. The right person we mentioned, right? The right person, the right person. for the right area or position. Okay. okay. Yes, Thank you, Alfonso. Yes, yes, miss. Now, Ivania, can you mention vocabulary that we have learned? Puede mencionar algunas palabras que hemos aprendido sobre human resources, Ivania? Please. Just remember to activate the, the microphone. <laughs> Please. Okay, Um, preparing, no, 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 okay. no, 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 Wendy, can you help Ivania? Podemos ayudarle a Ivania, Wendy? Yes, I remember interview, uh, they interview new personal, uh, celebrate birthday of uh, employees uh, but new vocabulary um, Wendy se recuerda de las palabras que aprendimos last week no I don't remember no, ninguna none of them no okay. um, preclude Recruit. Uh -huh. Recruit. Okay, that could be one. Yes. <laughs> okay, one. Um, More? Coordinator. Mm. Coordinator. Recruit coordinator. Okay. Uh, Hire. Uh -huh. Okay, Wendy. Yes. Um, <laughs> Laura, do you have a comment? Do you remember more? More mm. vocabulary? Uh, uh, sometimes work uh, apply uh -huh. uh, fire yes hire 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 yes uh, uh, otra absence absence or absence absence, absence. absence. yes uh, <laughs> Um, no remember more. But you mentioned four, that's cool. We have to practice them, mention them so you can remember them. La idea es, les pregunto, ¿verdad? Para que se les queden, porque si uno las deja de decir, se le olvida. Do you remember more? Habían otras, maybe uh, you still remember candidate, appraisal. resign, uh -huh. mm -hmm. performance mm -hmm. appraisal, uh -huh. correct. Entonces, hay que repetirlas para que se nos quede. Yes, Elena, do you have a comment? Briefing. Briefing, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. So, tomorrow I will ask you again. Mañana les voy a volver a preguntar para ver cuántas se les han quedado. But because of that, para que al final, después del módulo, todavía se recuerden de esas palabras. Ok, but we continue in our H our class. Vamos a seguir en nuestra clase de HR in English. And today we will talk about trainings. Vamos a hablar de trainings in this class. I'm going to share the book and we will discuss the information, okay? We continue in unit number three and this is the question we have here. Okay, so Juan Carlos, question number one. In your company, how often are trainings scheduled? 
do you understand the question, Juan Carlos? Yes. Okay. Uh, monthly. Monthly. Uh -huh. uh -huh, okay. And do you attend or take trainings? Explain. Take and give it. Mm. Are you a coordinator or manager in your company? I am supervisor. Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. what are mm -hmm. the trainings about? Uh, technical support about uh, line white and TV. Okay, interesting. Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you. Christian, what about you? How often are trainings scheduled in your company? Do you attend or take them? Can you tell us a little bit about that, Christian? Good evening, Miss. Hi, Christian. Um, okay. Uh, how often are training scheduled uh -huh. in your company? Yes. Um, is rarely um, because uh, in my area, in my work area, or my department, mm -hmm. um, almost no, bueno, casi no, 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 no hay uh, programación de training. Why not? Aren't they um, necessary in your company? Um, Eh, lo utilizan a través de otra manera no no Ajá. no hay como eh, capacitaciones sino que dan como unos folletos y con esos folletos uno va como eh, mm -hmm. o you algo study. así uh -huh. Ajá. you study exactly uh -huh. okay but no trainings no you training other methods to teach you or exactly. To help you. exactly. Okay, Christian, thank you for your comment. And lastly, we listen to Jonathan. Jonathan, are you there? Hi, Jonathan. What about your company? How often are trainings scheduled in your company? And do you every train? every uh... Every time uh, with with a new person, and maybe uh, once a month. Mm -hmm. ah, it's very once open. Very open. Do you yes. attend trainings? Yes, uh, um, around uh, three times. Mm -hmm. And what do they teach you? Do you remember the last training? What was about? Uh, about um, Tableau, uh, Tableau uh, tools. Tableau is a tool, is a tool um, of business intelligence. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, the user uh, to use, use, use this. It's the first time that I hear that name. The first time in my life. <laughs> so that's yes. new for me. W. Yes, it's W. Yes. Uh, w software. Ah, uh, okay. It's okay. A, ah, it's, it's, hmm? okay. it's easy to use. Okay, Jonathan, thank you. Well, guys, we will continue with the conversation. We have Mr. Perez and Jackie. I'm, I'm going to read the conversation first and then it will be your turn. So it says, good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Sorry, oops, this is a mistake. So welcome to our company, oh no, no, it's okay. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. 
Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, and that's it. Okay, so we will start with Lily. Okay, Lily. You're going to be Jackie and Blanca, you'll be Mr. Perez. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come, come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thank you. Alert you. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to reset training? I am. I am afraid I don't fear. Okay, let me explain this to you first. And that's it, right? Okay, thank you, Blanca and Lily. I'm just going to help you with one word. The one that you see here in pink, that one says, Procedures. Procedures. Could you please repeat? Procedures. Aha, uh -huh. procedures. That's the, the right way to say it. Thank you. So let's continue now with, with Ellie. Ellie and Galileo. Ellie, you'll be Jackie and Galileo. You're going to be Mr. Perez. Okay, so let's try to change a little bit. I want you to try to do it in a very, very happily way. Como que están muy, muy felices. Like you are introducing this new employee. Vamos a, a impersonate a little bit more. Okay, okay, go ahead. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come, come on. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't see. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I know that it stops in a very strange way. Thank you, good pronunciation. Now let's listen to Carlos, Carlos and Rodrigo. Carlos, you are Mr. Perez and Rodrigo, you be Jackie. Ready? Okay, go ahead. Good morning, it is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have a job coming in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, we are welcome. Do you know these procedures to require training? I am afraid. I don't know, sir. Okay. Let me explain, explain to your phrase. Okay. Thank you, guys. I'm just going to help you with this word you see here. That one is request. That is the, the right way to say it. Request. Could you request. please repeat? Uh -huh, Rodrigo, request. 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 Yes. request. yes, that's the way it sounds, request. Okay, thank you. Now let's go on with Laura. Laura and Luis, Luis Alfonso. Laura, you'll be Jackie and Luis Alfonso, Mr. Perez. So again, remember to do it in a very happily way. Okay, you, you are very happy to welcome your new employee. Okay, go ahead. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks, Aloxir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am afraid, I don't sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's it, right? 
Okay, good pronunciation. Thank you, Laura and Luis Alfonso. Now let's go on. Elena, Elena and Ivania, we will continue with you. Okay, one last time. Elena, you'll be Mr. Perez and Ivania, Jackie. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thank you. I love see you. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't see her. Okay, let me explain do. This do first. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Just this one is first. That is the, the correct way to say it. First. first. But yes, very good pronunciation. Thank you. Okay, do you have questions about the vocabulary? Is there something I can help you with? Questions? No, they're fine. Okay, now we have the comprehension part. We have the comprehension part. Question number one. Um, let's begin with Nelson. Okay, Nelson, question number one. What is Mr. Perez's role in the company? What is Mr. Perez's role in the company, Nelson? Oh, hello, uh, Mr. Perez is... Uh... Is a boss? A boss. Mm, okay, okay, it could be. Thank you, Nelson. What do you think, Oscar? Do you agree with Nelson or do you have a different opinion? Oscar, do you hear me? was having issues with the connection. Okay. Omar, what about you? What is Mr. Perez's role in the company? Um, Mr. Perez is a um, general manager or general uh, human resources humano. A human resources manager. Resource. Yes. Okay, that could work. Mm -hmm. Any other possibilities, Aida? Any other job position for Mr. Perez? Advice new staff, new mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I think that he could be an agent, right? An agent from the HR department or a receptionist, it could be another possibility. And the ones you mentioned okay. too. Thank you, Saira. Saira. Okay. And now we continue with question number two. And we will listen to Wendy. Wendy, what do you think is going to happen next? What do you think it's going to happen? Yeah. Teacher, sorry, uh -huh. teacher. Yes. Sorry, teacher, but in the in the introduction, the book is the human resources. Human resources. And yes, on the giving and receiving instructions on company procedures and political giving by human resources. Human resources agent, right? Uh huh. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for the comment. Good to know it. And Wendy, have you thought about question number two? What do you think is going to happen next? Yes, because if you see the final part of the conversation, it says, let me explain this to you. First, si notamos next el... conversation. Conversación, ajá, termina como que en suspenso, por decirlo así. Está como cortado, entonces la pregunta es, what do you think it's going to happen next? Como en qué continúa o algo así. Ajá. 
In the activities, activities, uh, mm, I don't know, Jackie or Jani. Um, Think about it, Wendy. Piénselo un poquito más y me avisa. Me avisa si, si okay. ha organizado sus ideas. But thank you. Okay, let's listen to Christian. Ah, tell me, Ellie. Yes. Maybe she is re receiving in uh, instruction. She is going to receive instructions. Yes. Yeah. Instruction the the quest about the job position mm -hmm. about her position. Mm -hmm. She could mm -hmm. receive instructions about her position. That could be one possibility, one option. Thank you, Ellie. Christian, other possibilities. What will happen next? ¿Qué va a pasar después? What will happen next? Um... I don't have the answer. Um, no. No. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. okay. Sorry, teacher. Tell me, uh, uh, Luis. Yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe she, maybe uh, show uh, the different activities uh, for her, okay? Different a training, activities. A, like... a, training, a training for her. The training, uh huh. But it says uh, that she is going to receive that uh -huh, information for the training. So the training and instructions, right? That is what is coming next. Thank you, Luis Alfonso. Is there any other comment? No sé si alguien más tenía un comment about question number two. Galileo. Mm -hmm. Galileo yes, and Wendy. Okay, uh, let's I listen. Think, I think, uh -huh. I think Mr. Perez uh, is explain uh, to Jackie about the uh, different activities. They gonna be gonna gonna make in this workplace. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. Mr. Perez explain policies and activities uh -huh. policies uh, and... that that is part of the training yes it is thank you Galileo. Yeah, and yes wendy um, i think uh jackie training uh -huh. so jackie she she... What do you want to say, Wendy? ¿Qué quisiera decir? Que después de eso ella va a recibir entrenamiento. Ah, ok. I'm going to give you a tip. Les voy a dar un, eh, algo corto. Para hablar de futuro, tienen two options. Hay dos maneras. A will. Pueden utilizar wheels. Will solo ah. se dice will y el verbo. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Puede ser she will y luego el verbo, que en este, en este caso sería have, ¿verdad? She will have a... She will have a training. A training. Ajá. Eso okay. sería one option. La otra yes. option que tenemos para hablar en future tense, pueden utilizar el verb be, ¿verdad? Y lo van a conjugar dependiendo del sujeto. Utilizamos el verb be y luego el going to. Si quieren hablar de futuro, eso sería una opción. Going to. Y luego va a ir su verbo. Como que digamos, en el caso del training, pueden decir she, ¿verdad? Que sería el subject de una mujer. Y el verb be que aplicaría para ella sería is. Y después solo dicen going to. Y su verb. She is going to have a training. 
Si ustedes utilizan esas palabras, ya están hablando en future tense. Ok, so un pequeño thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok, so we will have like a little conversation class. Recuerden que esta, esta unidad es más que todo de conversation. Para que ustedes practiquen, ¿verdad? Speaking, we have to practice. Y luego yo les doy tips, ¿ok? Podemos usar el chat también y pueden, eh, por supuesto, levantar su mano electrónica or tell me and you can talk about it. We will talk about HR functions. That is what we are going to discuss in this moment. HR functions. I will put it here. Uh, it's like this. H R functions. Human resources functions. I'm going to give you three minutes to make a list of the functions you think H R has. Les voy a dar como tres minutos para que piensen en las funciones que H R tiene. Y si lo pueden hacer en el chat, mejor, porque así yo recibo eh, todos sus comments. Y vamos a escuchar a algunos de ustedes. ¿Ok? Three minutes. Animation. Ajá, Eli. Este son, son de los mismos que vimos en aquel video. Vamos mm. a poner de esos mismos. Yes, yes. Ajá, lo que usted piense. Ya vamos a estudiarlo, por decirlo así. But right now I want to know what you think. Vamos a verlo, pero ahorita quiero saber lo que usted diría, ¿verdad? Que serían sus functions. Uh -huh. You're welcome. ¿Qué se podría repetir? Sure. ¿En inglés o español? ¿Cómo lo quiere? Ah, ok, okay. soy en inglés. No sé. <laughs> Think about functions, uh, human resources functions. You have three minutes to think about human resources functions. And send them in the chat. Do you understand? Quedamos solo con la English version or quiere the Spanish version too? Quedamos, ¿cómo se llama? Pero de recursos humanos siempre. Ajá, functions. Ajá. Las funciones. Ajá. Correcto. Y a veces solo en inglés puede hablar. En, inglés. en español no se le viene la idea. That's cool. Okay. Thank okay. You. Three minutes. Right now we have two. Faltan two minutes. Try not to use Google. Traten de no utilizar Google. Right. Solo el Google que tenemos acá. Just that one. Híjole, se no sirve. Oh my God, don't say that. No sabía que estaba el micrófono. Ah, de verdad. Ah, pues sí estaba, Eli. One more minute. Teacher. Yes, María Construye gestión, gestión, gestión del desempeño. Uh, performance. I'm going to send it in the chat. So let me read it in the chat, María Construye. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so time's up. Can you please send it by chat, Galileo? I can see here that you sent it. Do you want to read? Uh, yes, yes, Elena. How do you say evaluación de desempeño? Uh, you can say performance assessment. I will send it in the chat. Performance assessment. Assessment. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's let's discuss that a little bit more. Okay, Galileo, can you read your paragraph, please? Teacher, como como escribo solicitudes. Requests. Se recuerda Request. de esa palabra. Requests. Requests. ¿Sí? Ah, pues así. Requests. Lo voy a enviar en el chat, de todas maneras. Iría así, requests. Y sorry, Elena, lleva double S. Se me, me faltó ahí una S, Elena. Lleva dos, doble, cuatro lleva en total. Así, assessment. Sorry, hypo. Yes, Galileo, go ahead. Okay, thank you, teacher. Human resources functions. There are at least three principal functions. Those could be selection, hiring, and training. The most important thing about this function is to become a very company uh, because good selection equal good results. Good selection. I like the math at the end of the paragraph. Okay, Galileo, thank you for the comment. Now let's listen to Lily. Lily, can you read the functions? Yeah, ahorita, mira, me estoy comiendo. Ah, okay, that's fine. Blanca, can you continue in that case? You must resolve interviews, new stuff. <laughs> ah, okay. Just that one. Solo esa tiene That's ahorita. Like, estoy lista. Okay, Blanca, but thank you. Yes, Lily. And human resource hearing and selection the employee and the employee. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. You can say selects. Human resources selects the employees or chooses. That could be another possibility. Chooses. Select or chooses. Yes, because selection is the same, but it's the noun. Es, es lo mismo, verdad, pero es un sustantivo, no es un verb. Okay, Lily, thank you. Let's listen now to Carlos, Carlos Escobar. Um, I think having new people maintain a safe environment. Uh -huh. mm, make the uh, good relation employer uh, employer and employees. Mm -hmm. Between the employer and the employees. Yes. Correct. And the uh, 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 la del PDD, uh, perform, perform, performance, performance evaluation ah, every uh -huh. year. Every performance, year. yes, evaluations and, and the performance appraisals, right? They are also in charge of that. All right, Carlos, thank you. Jonathan? Do you have yours? Jonathan, do you hear me? Yes. Jonathan, no. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes Omar, tell me. Okay. Organizes company events, mm -hmm. perform Periodic evaluation, sanctional personal, creative behavior uh, manual, 
y promet, promotion to staff. Okay, thank you for your comment, Omar. Maybe you can say promote. Okay. Promotes, Omar. That would be the, the correct word to use, promotes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. But yes, sure. yes, sir. Teacher, it is more important sanction personal. Hmm? Is the more the more important the the human reserve sanction the personal. Uh -huh. That is what they do the most, right? Instead of giving benefits, they are checking you the way you are performing. Okay, thank you. But please send them by chat. Si no lo dijeron, please send it in the chat porque yo puedo revisar el chat after, after the, the class. Me queda aquí la copia de todo. Okay, so I have here something for you. I have in, in this document five curve HR functions. Are you familiar with the word core? Si ¿Sí están... Um, Familiarizados con la palabra core, or not really. Core is like the most essential, most important. That is core, most essential or most important, like this. Most essential or most important. That's the meaning of core. Here I have five functions of that. We will read them and try to discuss them. La idea es que los leamos y que tratemos de, de platicar, ¿verdad? De hablar de ellos. Do not be ashamed, okay? No se sientan con pena. Traten de, de expresarse, okay? Empezamos para aprender y yo luego les puedo dar feedback, ¿verdad? Para que después mejoremos aún más. Ok, so we will start with number one. Just give me one moment. Ok, in this moment, let me see. Ok, Ellie, can you read number one? Recruitment and Selection, the one you see here. Your teacher. Yes. Me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Recruitment, recruitment and selection. This is where new employees acquire the necessary skill, knowledge, knowledge and behaviors, knowledge and behavior to become effect, effective members of their team. Okay. Try hey. and... Oh, that's, that's another one. Sorry, Eli. Ese es otro, pero no le puse aquí el color rojo. Sorry. But only this is function number one, recruitment and selection. Behavior is, is your conduct, okay? The way you behave. Eso significa behavior, conduct, su conducta. That's the meaning of that. Okay, so number one, recruitment and selection. Galileo, can you explain that function to the class? Will you try to explain what you understand they do about the recruitment and selection? Yeah. Uh, um, when, when the paragraph say, the, ne the necessary skills, mm -hmm. uh, they speak about uh, all those activities that the new em employees or, or possible employees can uh, make in the workplace. Uh, there are people who is applied apply about one workplace, but don't have skills mm -hmm. yeah, to, to this workplace. So human resource discover 
that the skills necessary to this workplace. So if the the new recruit the new recruit don't have these skills, mm -hmm. uh, but human resource is is disregard this new possible element uh, okay. about about knowledge and behaviors. I can talk about behaviors. It's a really, really important um, attitude to work in wherever company. Because yes. there are people who is looking for a job, but when the boss or, or human resource explain he, her or, or his, the, the work he going to do in the workplace, there are people who don't like mm -hmm. this activity. True. Uh, that's and they, they get mad, right? They don't like. They don't like that. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay, Galileo, thank you for your comment. That's correct. Now, do you have questions about the first one? Do you need help with the vocabulary? Before we go on, antes que sigamos con training and development, ¿hay alguna duda con el first paragraph? Something I could help you with? No, teacher, in my case, I, I got it. You're fine. Okay. And you guys, los demás, dudas, doubts, cider? What is knowledge? Knowledge. Conocimiento. Okay. Knowledge. Se dice así. Knowledge. Knowledge. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so let's continue with what Tom, uh, yes. What's the meaning acquire? Acquire, adquirir, oh. to get or to obtain something. Acquire. Oh. Okay, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Training and development. Juan Carlos, could you read function number two? Training and development and development. Training employees also provides benefits to a company. Investing in, in an employee's development encourage employee retention and keeps recruitment cost to a minimum. It also makes your company more attractive to potential recruits who seek to improve, to improve their skills and provide them with more opportunities. Good pronunciation, Juan Carlos. I only have two, two words to help you. This one is development. Just the intonation is different. Development, and this one is encourages. Uh -huh. One more encourages. time. Encourages. Encourages, yes. Okay, okay, so training and development. Uh, one moment. I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment, and then we continue with this. But Rodrigo, before I take the attendance, after I take the attendance, please try to explain why training and development is important. Rodrigo, luego que pase la asistencia, tal vez nos puede explicar por qué esta función, esta función es muy importante. Okay, but I, I will okay. take the, the attendance in this moment. Ana okay. Beatriz. Ana Lilian. Present. Okay, Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Galileo. Present, Miss. Okay. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. Present. Okay. María Elena. I'm here. María Ivania. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, Miss. Okay. Omar Francisco. 
Present. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay, okay. Uh, Zaira, Zaira Larín. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present. Jenny Suleima. Christian Ernesto. Okay, thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Uh, let me see. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's continue, Rodrigo. Tell me, why is this function important? What do you understand? Or do you need more time, Rodrigo? Oh, no sé si el micrófono se le olvidó activar. Okay, ah, volumen, ah, okay. volumen. No Sorry, volumen. Rodrigo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> The important training and development for me is the, the personal department is to share on coordination, the training of the personnel for a better performance of their function for the benefits of the company and the project and provide them with more opportunity all employees. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your comment, Rodrigo. And let's listen to Elena. What about you, Elena? Why is this important? Training and development. Elena? Excuse me. Um, yes. Training and development uh, because providing benefits uh, to a company mm -hmm. um, for maybe uh, happy, happiness employees inside companies. That could be one benefit, but there are other benefits, Elena. Do you have other ideas? What are the benefits of trainings? Mm, uh, when the companies, mm, performance, no, training, mm -hmm. um, a new employee, mm, reduce the cost mm -hmm. okay for, for someone eh uh, pérdida se me fue como Loss. se dice per... losses that for losses okay okay elena thank you do you want to add something else quiere agregar algo más uh -huh. do you want to add something else elena no no just that <laughs> Okay, thank you, Elena. Maria Concepcion. Hello, by the way, Maria Concepcion. What are the benefits of training and development? What are the benefits for the company? What do you think? Why is it good for them to train people? ¿Por qué les sirve? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, in health and security. Tell me more. Um, in my company, y nos ayudan como a las mujeres a que estemos que nos y, hagamos la Ah, ok. Dígamelo y luego vamos a ver cómo lo hago. <risa> Ajá. Um, nos ayudan, por ejemplo, a que nos hagamos la citología cada año. Porque no podemos salir, entonces nos dan como, nos llevan a algunos médicos que no hagan la psicología ahí en la, en la empresa. Pero eso es como un training. Esa es parte de la ayuda que nos da parte de recursos humanos. Ah, ok. Pero de los trainings, María Concepción. Mm. 
training son entrenamientos. ¿Cuáles serían o por qué se beneficia la compañía de, de hacer trainings? O sea, ¿cómo los beneficia? Uh, Elena said that, that the company has happy employees. Dice de que los employees se sienten mejor. But the company, ¿qué gana la compañía? What do you mm. think? Eh, los nuevos empleados, una seguridad para poder estar, poder desarrollar mejor nuestro trabajo. Confidence, pero también eso es para el employee, pero it's the company. But thank you, María Concepción. Who has another comment? ¿Hay alguien que tenga un comment? ¿A volunteer? Yes, teacher. Ah, ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Eli y yes. Omar. Ok, Eli. Mm -hmm. Tell us. The, com the company reduce, reduce employee errors ah. when, when, when there are training. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Less mistakes. They lose less money, right? They reduce costs. Thank you. Thank you, Eli. Eh, Oscar o, o Omar. Era Omar. Sorry. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, Omar. Omar. It is, it, is, it is important for the mm -hmm. staff be, uh, be up today uh, to uh -huh. help to have a competitive staff. Mm -hmm. uh, that staff um, come the belief in other areas. Areas. Uh -huh. Yes, I uh, have uh, a staff that come adapted to the different change of the company. Mm -hmm. Correct. Those are benefits. Thank you, Omar. And Ivania, do you have a comment? Yes, teacher. Um, I better performance at work. For example, in my company, mm -hmm. um, the department the man maintaining uh -huh. is in, in training eh, for instalar aire acondicionado, aire AC installments. AC. Yes, y eh, I then the company. I I save the money. For, uh, for, for training the department. Correct. Uh -huh. Thank you. So they reduce costs, right? If they train the employees. Yes, reduce. Uh -huh. And maybe more customer satisfaction, more happy customers. Yes. yes. Okay. yes. Now uh, the department, ahora ellos hacen ese mantenimiento. Ah, the department, ya no le pagan a nadie. Thank yes. you. Uh -huh. So they reduce costs. Thank you for your comment, Ivania. Laura, did you want to comment too? Uh, yo, well, I think uh, mm -hmm. provide, provide the employees with a better uh, development in their activities. Uh, for in, in training in yeah, develop their function efficient more more efficient, efficiently efficient employee correct laura uh -huh. congratulations you express your idea in english that's very good okay let's continue with the third one the next function. Okay. And now uh, we will listen to Jenny. Jenny, can you participate? Jenny? No. Uh, Hi, teacher. Hi, Jenny. Can you read? Manager. Yes. I read. Please. Okay. Performance management. A good performance management process includes quarterly or annual appearance or performance review. 
this enable one on one communication between employees and line man managers to set clear individual goals and team goals that align with the strategy goals of the organization. Thank you, Jenny. Maybe just this one that is management. That is the, the correct way to say it. Management and strategic. Strategic. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Let's see, Saira, can you explain this? Why is performance management important? Performance management. What do you think it means? ¿Qué cree que significa, Zaira? Performance management. Uh, no teacher. ¿Tiene alguna idea de qué será esto de performance management? ¿O todavía no? Muchas palabras nuevas. Y... Sí, sí, no, 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 no puedo hacerme okay. una idea. Ok, not yet. Vamos a, a, a tratar de descifrar. Okay. Yes, Elena. In my company, one time in the year, um, human resource um, give, give uh, any singular employee a link. Mm -hmm. For question, um, they, they are German 360. Mm -hmm. You evaluate your companies, five companies, and five companies evaluate me. Uh -huh. the, the, hmm? the, uh, the, this performance is this. Per uh, yes, but it's inside the company. Not other companies evaluating you, Elena. Is no. H HR evaluating your performance? That is what it means, performance management. But it's about evaluations. Sí. That is correct. Yes. It's about evaluation. I can help you with yes. vocabulary. Yes, Galileo? In my case, I have mm. a, a quality audit. Mm -hmm. Every year mm -hmm. uh, is the same company, but the audit is about the quality manual. Uh -huh. So they check the performance, and this is one one time to the month, one a year. Once a year. Uh -huh. so it's once a year. Thank you, Galileo. Yeah. Correct. Guys, I can help you with vocabulary. Si necesitan ayuda con vocabulary, les puedo ayudar para que tratemos de platicar más sobre performance management. New words. New vocabulary. Me, Your me, teacher. Sorry. Okay, Eli and Alfonso. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. tell me, Eli. What you are in the meaning the uh, alien? Align. Uh -huh, align. Alinear. Align. Mm. Alinear. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Just that one. Teacher, is correct. Is correct. Say yo. Yo. Oh, me. It depends. Um, si gustas, lo poco dentro de los tips que les voy a dar en un momentito y les explico bien cuándo va I y cuándo va me. It's simple, es bien simple. No, es que uh -huh. I, I, listen, I listen to some yo en rap, yo. Ellos no dicen I. <ríe> yo, yo he, he escuchado en algunas canciones, pero es rap, donde ellos dicen yo. No dicen. Ah, pero de you. No dicen. ¿Mm? Creo que estamos no. hablando de, de you. 
solo que la pronunciación quizás es la que estamos hablando. Mm. Cuando yo si lo no, busque, en, en envíamelo. Ajá, y lo Cuando voy a ver. Busquen el, la canción. Uh -huh. Donde vale. has escuchado eso, quiero, quiero evaluarlo para ver si, si de qué estamos hablando. Ajá. Ok. <laughs> Luis Alfonso, what is your question? Please, it's the meaning what, what, and the pronunciation what, waterly, waterly. Ah, the pronunciation, waterly. And, and, and meaning, please. And the meaning is como waterly. No tengo la palabra, le voy a decir como que significa. It's like a process that you do four times in the year. Cuando se hace como cuatro veces. Trimestre. Eh... Cuatrimestre. Ajá, ese otro. Cuatri, cuatrimestre. Thank you. Eh, hay otro, es try, trimester. Trimester, Carlos, that will be the, the tres. And annual, que sería yearly, right? Yes, okay. So quarterly is that, Luis Alfonso. Any other questions? It's a period. Aha, uh -huh. for periods okay. of time. Okay. We're talking okay. about, aha, uh -huh. you're welcome. Evaluation of employees. Estamos hablando de evaluar a los employees. or annual appraiser. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, appraisals, vamos a ver. Do you still remember this word, Carlos? Que era un appraisal? Performance appraisal? Do you remember? It's an evaluation. Uh, no, appraisals era diferente. Que se los di en, en la paginita de, del document. Do you guys remember? No. Es una meeting. Era una meeting para evaluar, para evaluar a los employees. Ese es un performance appraisal. Una meeting donde se habla de los empleados para ver qué necesitan mejorar o ayuda. That's a performance appraisal. Okay, because of the time, we will just read the next ones. Por el tiempo todavía tenemos otra activity y les quiero dar algunos tips. Vamos a solo leer los siguientes. Y más adelante vamos a tratar de platicarlos un poquito más. We will talk about them a little bit more. Okay, so we continue with employee relations. This is something Carlos mentioned. Eh, usted, Carlos, lo mencionó cuando habló de functions of HR, employee relations. That is also essential. Aquí está. Okay, Oscar, is your connection better, Oscar? Está mejor su connection. Can you help us read? Yes. yes, I can read. Okay, please. Okay, employee relation. Firstly, HR helps prevent and resolve problems of or dispute between employees and management. Secondly, they assist them in creating and enforcing policies that are fair and consistent for the whole workplace. Thank you, Oscar. I appreciate it. Do you have questions about the vocabulary before we continue? Do you need help with the vocabulary? Something I could help you with? If not, we continue and I will send you the document. Les mando el document later para que ustedes puedan buscar the new vocabulary. Elena, yes. Yes? No sé cómo se podría decir en inglés, pero donde yo trabajo hay una, se mantiene permanente y hay en cada oficina y en recursos humanos como uh -huh. un representante. Y se llama uh -huh. Comité de Quejas, Sugerencias y Felicitaciones. Eso uh -huh. tiene que ver con esto, porque allí lo que hacen es tratar como de, de limar las asperezas que pueden haber entre compañeros de oficinas. Ajá. Y usted manda, manda Ajá. un link y usted manda cualquier cosa que quiera poner ahí. 
ya sea una queja sobre algún compañero o algún procedimiento o una sugerencia de cambio para, porque el jefe no le dice una queja, sino que le pone como sugerencia de cambio eh, o felicitaciones que no son tan usuales, pero también hay de eso. Ajá. Es como eso. Yes, we're talking about that here, María Eleni. That's right. Okay, we will read the last one. <clears throat> Nelson, can you read it, please? Employment law and compliance. Employment law and compliance, Nelson. Okay. Employment, uh, employment line is the legal framework with in which the organization must operate, operate duty are a, a wide range of land and regulation that cover a Myra. Myra. Mm -hmm. Myra. Osman resource practice such as recruitment, performance, manage, manage employee, rela. Relations, employee relations, relations. Uh -huh. employee relation, compensate, compensate, compensation, <laughs> sorry, compensation and health and, and, safety. Health and, safety. and safety. safety, safety. Yes. Okay, Nelson. Thank you. I know that it has difficult words. It's kind of difficult yes. sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to help you with this performance management. Performance manager. Manage, management. Manage games. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's better. Okay. Okay, guys, I will send you the document later in case you need help with the vocabulary. Okay, les voy a enviar el document later por si quieren buscar más vocabulary y así expandirlo porque por el tiempo vamos a, a continuar. We will continue. But congratulations. Okay, you did a very good job. The idea is that you practice your English. La idea es que practiquen, ¿verdad? Su conocimiento. Because it's difficult to express sometimes ideas. A veces ya hablarlo cuesta más que escribirlo o que, que leerlo, right? So we have to practice speaking. Uh, some tips. Some tips really quick. Before we go on. When you use the word people, people is plural. So we have to use our, okay? People is, is not correct. Tenemos que utilizar our cuando hablemos de people. Y is es cuando es singular, okay? So remember that. And the S, recuerden la S, cuando hablan de terceras personas. Okay, so now the last activity. We will continue in the book and we will work in groups. Vamos a estar trabajando in, in groups. Okay, uh, one moment. I will tell you right now what we will be, what we will be doing. Okay, so in the book, you have to read the procedures at RC company. Procedures to request a training. You have types of trainings and the process to request the training. With the information, you have to fill out a training note, okay? With the information you have here, you have to fill out a training note. Okay, now the Spanish version. Aquí tienen el proceso para hacer un, un, una solicitud de, de training, de capacitación. Y aquí da el proceso de cómo hay que hacerlo. Y los tipos de entrenamiento que hay. En la parte 5 del book, de este libro, dice de que con la información que aparece acá y siguiendo la manera en la que hay que escribir la información, hay que crear una training note, hay que crear una nota o una solicitud de training. Okay, eso es lo que van a crear. Con la información que se les ha dado acá, tienen que elaborar una solicitud de capacitación. Entonces, tienen que analizar la información que está acá. Aquí les dice que hay que hacer primero 
qué hay que hacer después y hay que ir buscando todo eso en la información que aparece acá en point number five. Do you understand? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a estar haciendo? Or do you have questions? Galileo, yes or no? You don't understand. No. No, teacher, I'm okay. sorry. Ok, so hay que crear una, una, una solicitud de capacitación. Eso es lo que vamos a pedir. Como que yo quiero un training, pero tengo que pedirlo. Para pedirlo, hay un proceso. Entonces, ese proceso está explicado en esta parte rosada. Entonces, por ejemplo, dice el primer punto, lo primero que hay que poner es Choose the training. Lo primero que hay que hacer es escoger el training. Aquí están los tipos de training. Entonces, en mi training note, lo primero que va a ir es el type of training. Digamos que quiero organizing time. Entonces, eso es lo que van a poner de primero, porque eso es lo primero que se pide. Y luego van al punto número dos y ven lo que pide. Dependiendo de lo que pida, Galileo, ustedes eso van a poner de segundo. Luego vamos a comparar a ver si todos tenemos el mismo orden. Yes? No? I got it. Ok. Thanks. And you guys? ¿O todavía no? ¿Me pueden decir si todavía no? Y llego a su, a su breakup room. Who needs help? ¿Quién desearía que llegue? To visit you. Así llego. Bueno, igual voy a llegar. Me okay. teacher. Ok, Wendy. Wendy, I'll be there. I'm going to create the rooms. I'm going to create the rooms and then I, I will send you there. Um, ok. Please accept the invite. Miss? Yes. Sorry. Uh, Tell me. I can participate. Uh, really? Yes, or this yes. Tiene algún problema? Um, estoy con un analgésico en este momento. Ah, es lo del accidente todavía, ¿verdad? Que sí. Se está recuperando. Ok, Christian. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Ahí dele cancelar. That's fine. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Hi Wendy, I'm here. Hi. Ay, sí, teacher, lo decía en Maribania que no entiendo nada. <risa> ok, ahí ya le explico. No sé, me está, o sea que el pro, mi problema ahorita es de, el vocabulario. Que mm. no, no lo comprendo casi nada. Hay mucho vocabulario. Sí, uh -huh. ves que no es, es. Ajá, porque como estamos hablando de cosas así bien técnicas, Técnica, no sé cómo estaba. decirlo. Uh -huh. Porque es vocabulario de, H, de human resources, pues de recursos humanos en inglés. Que de empresa. Ajá. De Por eso les dije que iba a ser una clase de recursos humanos sí. en inglés. Pero... Y lo, lo peor que como en mi empresa nada que ver, no hay, ahí no hay recursos humanos, ahí no hay gerente, ahí no hay nada. Solo yo Dios empleada mío. y hago todo. Ajá. Pasa, <risa> suele suceder. Ajá. Ok, vaya, les voy a tratar. Sí, si sí, tienen un dictionary, no. se los recomiendo. Si tienen ah, un diccionario. No, yo les digo de que si tienen ahí un diccionario o Google, utilicenlo no. cuando hay palabras que no conozcan para que ah, agarren okay. más la idea. Ok. Yo pensé que nos iba a recomendar algo. <risa> no, no. Ok. 
Vaya, sí, bueno. Bueno, bueno, sí, bueno. sí. Vale. La idea es que ustedes sí. tienen que tratar de entender cómo hacer la, la solicitud. Eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita, bueno. Hacer una solicitud okay. para capacitación. En esta ah, okay. parte rosada dice cómo van a hacerlo. Dice el primer punto. Escoja el entrenamiento en el que está interesado. Ahora, uh -huh. aquí están uh -huh. los tipos de entrenamiento. En su nota, o en su nota, en este caso, lo primero, punto número uno, me van a poner el tipo de training. ¿Cuáles uh -huh. son los trainings? Los que están acá. Ahí. Los de abajo. Excelente, justamente todos esos. Ajá, porque ahí dice, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Types of training. Entonces, uh -huh. si es effective communication, si es... Other, si es creating website. Punto uno, entonces le ponemos creating websites. Y luego dice aquí, mire, check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Sorry, le voy a poner mute un ratito, Wendy, por el background noise. Sorry. Entonces dice acá, check with the talent management. Hay que consultar con este, digamos, departamento si se puede tomar o no el training. Ese es el segundo paso, ver si, si lo dejan o no. Entonces, la idea es que nos vamos a la información y hay que ver qué dice sobre eso. Estamos agarrando el, el ¿cuál? Este, ¿verdad? De creating, creating websites. Vaya, busquemos creating websites. Aquí está. Creating websites. Está acá. For hours. Our facilities, free. Podemos poner yes, ¿verdad? Que sí se puede. Y luego dice, eh, send a note requesting the participation. En este paso, tienen que crear algo ustedes, ¿verdad? Como yo quiero tomar este training porque necesito ayuda para poder, cre para poder eh, crear sitios web. Entonces, la idea, Wendy, es que lean acá y que si necesitan ayuda, aquí tiene, por ejemplo, cuándo es la fecha del el entrenamiento, cuántas horas dura, a dónde va a ser y el precio. Algo que no esté allí, si se lo pide, hay que elaborarlo, hay que escribirlo. Sí, pero al final son 10 steps, son 10 pasos. Oh, ok. Sí, Ivania, ¿entendemos? Mm, más o menos <risas> traten, traten de hacerlo y cualquier cosa pues uh -huh. ahí vamos a darles feedback ¿okay? y el dictionary si necesitan algo vean en el dictionary para que estemos seguros que sí que sí estamos ahí es un, es un ejercicio de comprensión es lo que estamos ahorita practicando ¿verdad? entender inglés comprender lo que vemos ok I will let you continue. Las voy a dejar solitas. Voy a ir a ver cómo Thank van you. sus classmates. Si me necesitan, if you need help, solo presionen el botón y yo, yo vengo. Ok, see you later. Bye. Y según yo, ya con la maleta lista, pero no, 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 no me habían eh, inscrito. inscrito. Ajá. O aprobado. Por eso es que este, este punto o sea, sí es importante. Hi, Carlos uh -huh. and Jenny. Sorry to interrupt. Hi, uh, hi, I teacher. just came here if, in case you needed help. Is there something I can help you with? Eh, eh, no. 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 Uh, only, uh, speak uh, uh, speak uh, uh, about, item. about the, the item. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Which one? Uh, I speak on uh, the Jenny is the uh -huh. important uh, make sure to include all the no 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 perdón the information, the information. Sí, 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 esa era, esa era, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Esa era. Number nine. Number nine, ajá. Yes. I make, make sure to include all, all the information. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, le, le, le contaba que yo tuve un problema de que estaba Ajá. a punto de irme para, la, para un entrenamiento y no me inscribieron por, por, ah. por un detallito uh -huh. que es importante chequear esto yes. es como en los cursos sin support también necesitan como inscribirse y tener todo ready 
Así que sí pasa, no es solo, solo voy a ir. We have to. Uh -huh. Sí, no lo que pasa es que yo había, yo había ido sábados y era como continuación, como una etapa uh -huh. dos. Entonces yo asumía que ya estaba en el siguiente proceso. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y no, no lo dejaron entonces. No, no. No, no, no. I'm sorry to hear no, that. No, estaba, no okay. estaba escrito. Entonces, ustedes prácticamente ya, ya tienen listo su, su training note. Yes. yes. Ya, yeah. ok. Let me check with your classmates. Voy a ver cómo van ellos y este, en cualquier caso, pues ya, ya casi les mando el request para que volvamos. Ok, okay. see you in a moment. Goodbye. Thank you. Well, the teacher, mejor. Hi. How are you doing? Do you need help? Eh, sí, no. Ajá. Tell me. Eh, no, lo que estábamos nada más. Y eh, habíamos escogido el creating websites. Y, uh -huh. y lo que hemos entendido es que hay que hacer una nota en donde recopilaremos toda la información que tenemos en, en este cuadro del evento, la fecha, la sala de instrucción, lugar y el precio, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y esa carta me imagino que debe ser una carta formal. En este caso, no, it's not, doesn't have to be formal. Si quieren, hasta pueden solo, si pueden, tienen una laptop ahí para hacer el document, solo poner las cosas. No es que lo elaboren así. Super formal. Ok, pero si va a ir dirigido a alguien, a recursos humanos. Ajá, hagámoslo así. Y cuando, por ejemplo, part number three, la parte dice send a note requesting your participation. ¿Cómo hicieron ese step? ¿Qué pusieron en ese paso? Eh, pues no me he puesto nada, dicho. Ah, no. ¿En cuál van ahorita? Ahorita ya hemos escogimos el. El training. Eh, queremos, exacto. Eh, y armar la carta, diríamos, la nota. Ah, ok. okay. Por ejemplo, en step number three, ahí tienen que ustedes elaborar, ¿verdad? Elaborar una nota. Que, pidiendo de que quieren participar. I need help. Necesito ayuda en, en esta parte, en esta área. Me cuesta. Necesito entrenamiento. Entonces, como una pequeña nota. De por qué. Okay. Y se sí. menciona todo lo que está en el cuadro, ¿verdad? No, no, es no not necessary. necessary. No, solo, solo pidan por qué. Una, or, una oración, one sentence. En, ¿Dónde vamos a ocupar entonces todo ese cuadro? Lo que dice el cuadro. Ah, donde dice training note. La parte donde dice training note. Se lo voy a mostrar. Number... Donde dice training note, ahí. Ah, ok. Aquí pondríamos esto, lo que hemos escogido, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ajá, ahí va a poner las cosas así como las horas que lleva el lugar. De general info, la información general. En la nota. Okay. O si no, pues ahí, ahí pueden ponerlo todo. La idea es que que pongan, Juan Carlos, toda la información que se les está pidiendo. Si no, pueden hasta ponerlo por paso. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Para, que, ajá, para que yo vea cuál es cuál. ¿En how are you doing? ¿Qué tal van? Ya casi lo, lo terminan. ¿O todavía ya les... prácticamente solo de transcribir. Ok. Ok, so maybe we will go back in about two minutes. Quizás en unos dos minutos volvemos entonces. Okay. okay, see you later. Okay. See you. Que va a escribir y luego la fecha. Escribe el nombre de la formación, dice que necesita. Hello. Sorry, I couldn't come before. Perdón que estaba ahí con, con otro grupo. How can I help you? Yes, chair. I confuse in, in the number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. The, the, instruction, the instruction shared with the talent manager uh -huh. consultant is you can take the training. Who is talent manager in my 
Uh -huh. in, your company. Or, uh, in my company or the company organization, the course? It's not there. That information is not there. So you can say yes or okay. Ahí como no está, ahí solo le ponen yes. Que dice que está bien. Porque esa información no está eh, mostrada ahí. No aparece. Ah, ajá, porque no, no sabíamos con quién íbamos a, a, a corroborar esto. Porque si es con la empresa, con nuestra empresa o, o, o es con la empresa que está ofreciendo el servicio. Is with your company. Porque esta, esta no, nota no. va como a human resources, por decirlo así. Ah, recursos humanos. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. así que es a yes or okay. Porque no aparece. Thank, mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay. In the note, for uh -huh. example, um, we say effective communication 17, 19 July, 10, 10 hours, center. 120 in my name, Maria Elena Guadalupe Peña Tejor. This is the note. Eh, mejor me la no. muestra, Elena, ya porque no se me quedó todo. Y por el tiempo ya vamos a regresar y ahí confirmamos. Pero prácticamente no. ya terminaron. Si es poco, no faltan. Ok, I will give porque you. Todo es repetitivo. Ajá, uh -huh. I will give you one more minute because we will check. Vamos a chequearlo allá y cualquier cosa, pues ahí yo les ayudo. Ok, see you okay. in a moment. Goodbye. Hi, welcome back. And where is Carlos, Jenny? He disappeared. Debería estar acá. I think he lost the connection. Uh -huh. He's not here in this moment in the class. I think he lost the connection, but I imagine he... one moment. Okay, welcome back everyone. So in that case, we will continue and we will check your notes. So let's begin with Rodrigo, Laura, and Nelson. Can you share with us your training note? What teacher? Pueden eh, mostrar o mencionar su training note. Uh. Dicha, lo voy a mencionar, pero iba con José Rodrigo. Ajá, Rodrigo y Nelson. No. 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 Ah, ok. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Es que tenemos dos. Así, yes. Ok, yes. Can you read the information, Rodrigo? Or Laura? Could you read it, please? Ah, uh, read. <laughs> ok. Eh... Number one. The training, uh, right? Uh -huh, training. Effective. Uh -huh. Effective communication. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Todo dos teacher que solo era para consultar, pero no, no hicimos nada. Uh -huh. Ajá. It will be okay. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. it will be just Entonces, okay. Uh, item three, I, I, Jose Rodríguez Hernández, with employee number Zero three eight nine request to participate in the training effective communication. Mm -hmm. yes. Four eighteen four training effective communication. Eighteen five day uh, seventeen July. Yes, yes, uh, nineteen. Uh -huh. Nineteen. <laughs> nineteen. Uh, our uh -huh, nineteen. Hour of instruction, yeah, 10, mm -hmm. eating six place center, 
eh, item seven price eh, one hundred twenty twenty dollars dollars eh, item a human resource department eh, item nineteen que solo es requisito make sure to include all the information request mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y item 10, hay información y missing in the note, in the note, we will not autorize any training. Depende del uh -huh. departamento, depende in the department, resource, human. Human, ok, Laura, thank you, you finished. Ok, so only some comments, ok, some comments before you remove the screen, antes que quite el screen. Um, okay. Where you have the date, como es de July 17th a July 19th, right? Uh -huh. Ahí puede utilizar las preposiciones que aprendíamos al principio del módulo. Puede ah. decir from, from, ah, from, on Thai. Ajá, from July, okay. nine, July 17th to July 19th. Ok, ah, okay. ajá. Pues Pero siempre poniendo... Eh, July, ajá. July, o sea, al fin, ah, ok. Así. Al revés, July 19th. Because in English, we mentioned the, the okay. month first and month, then month, the. Uh -huh. Beginning there. Yes. Okay. And item is item, item in English. Item, ok. Ajá, y efectivo es effective. Effective. Communication. Ok. Ok, thank you, uh, Laura okay. and Rodrigo. Now let's continue. Zaira, can you guys continue, please? Zaira, Luis, and Blanca. Teacher, es que nosotros no, en el grupo no lo, lo estábamos haciendo y... Uh -huh. Y bueno, pues que al final no nos pareció porque nos quedó bien corta la información. Ah, can you read the information? Pueden leer sí. lo que tienen. Tenemos San Ajá. Salvador. Y permítanme que me olvido cómo se dice. Ay, se me olvidó cómo se dice 18. 18. Ajá. The October of 20... So, so, sorry, teacher. Ah, sorry, okay. sorry, teacher, Alzaira. This presentation, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, ya está, ya. Ajá. Can you read the information? This uh, me, me, Zaira, Larin, you are invited to participate in the training. Uh, Effective communication. The training is in Hotel California from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. o'clock. Then Friday 22 October 2021. Post of the event, one conference to participate in very important human resource department. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, thank you. It has the information needed. Maybe just the duration is not there, right? The duration of the training is not there, but yes, you have most of it. Okay, then, thank you. Thank you, Zaira, Blanca, and, and Alfonso. Jenny, Jenny and Carlos, can you continue, please? Hi, teacher. Um, Solo lo escribimos en el... En el ok, read the information. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, I choose the training. I is interested. Mm -hmm. the, um, excellent customer service. Uh -huh. Day, July 7th. Hours, for hours. Place, hotel center, hours. Or hours. Price, 40 dollars. Um, I send him to the human resource department. I make sure they include, include all the information requests. And I think that 
if information is missing, is is the not, we will not authorize any training. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Jen. Just one comment. This word that you see here is pronounced authorize. Authorize. Oh, suena como oh, authorize. Oh, authorize. 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 Oh, authorize. <laughs> It's kind of, yes, yes. Authorized. Uh, uh -huh, authorized. Authorized. Hay que ir buen tip. Yo sé que hay muchas practice. palabras que quizás son desconocidas para algunos. Un tip que les puedo dar cuando no conozcan para nada cómo se dice una palabra es que en Google pueden ustedes poner la palabra y le ponen ahí pronunciation. O en YouTube también y les va a decir cómo se, cómo se pronuncian las palabras. Ese también les puede ayudar a practicar. Ok, thank you, Jenny. And Carlos, by the way, Jenny, ¿usted se puede quedar ahora a su sesión de 10 minutos? Yes. Ok, yes. all right. So let's continue with Maria Concepción Steam. Maria Concepción, do you have the info? Or Ellie, who is going to read the info? Yes, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Nosotros lo tenemos así. Yo lo. Okay. There, Mr. Human Resource Department. Uh -huh. Or, our team are interest, interesting in participate into training and team is beneficial for our area. Nay, effective communication, place, center, time, 10 hours, day. From 70 July to 19 July, investment one $120. Thanks for your support. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ellie. Just remember the months, July 19, July 17. Solo mm -hmm. hay que, ajá, siempre, ¿verdad? Eh, decir primero el mes y luego el, el día. Así sí. los dijo, Eli. Mm, dije, uh -huh. from 17 July to uh -huh. 19. Ah, pues sí, hay July. que cambiarle. Es July 19, o primero el mes y luego el día. Uh -huh. Y se acuerda de lo de la canción, ahí me lo manda. Lo vamos a revisar. Es de Eminem. Ok. Que le va a gustar. It's ok, it's ok. Uh, send it to me and I will check it. Let's continue with Ellie. Ellie, I'm sorry. Let me see. Ustedes leyeron entonces el de María Elena. Sí estaba con María Elena, Ellie. Yes, con ella. Ah. Trabajé y con Don Nelson. Ah, ok. María Concepción, Juan Carlos en Oscar. Do you have yours? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Uh, our note is we need a training in creating websites date July 28 four hours of instruction mm -hmm. play, uh, in play our facilities and price is free mm -hmm. okay thank you very much now let's listen to Galileo, Omar, and Lily. Okay, teacher, I, I share my screen. Mm -hmm. Please, Lily, read number one. Okay. Excellent customer service. Number one. Uh, through three, please. Okay. Excellent customer service. Yes. Good morning, Mr. Galileo. I I appreciate so so much if you can aid me to participate participate in your excel excellent customer service training. Thank you. Thank you. Omar, from number four to uh, until number seven, please. Okay, I need the excellence 
customer server training. They are hours of instruction July 7, um, four hours. The place where the instruction will take place is hotel center hour. The price of training is 14. 40. Okay, number eight. Uh, number eight say send it to the human resource department. Mm -hmm. Okay, dear Mr. Juan Perez, human resources manager. It is a pleasure to me informing about the excellent customer service training details, like place, cost, hours to take this training. All number nine, all the necessary information was included in the training request and we check it and we are sure all information is okay. Number 10, please let me know if you are agree with this request. Okay, sounds good, very detailed. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. It's good. And Thanks. the last one is Wendy and Ivania. Can you continue please before I take the attendance? Okay. Only right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry. Um. First, and uh, the first choose the training, and uh -huh. we choose effective communication. Mm -hmm. Um. And the note when this. Point number three. The note. Uh -huh. Or Wendy, if you want to send it to me, take a picture of it. Envía. Send it to me mm, by. Muy desordenado. <laughs> ah, okay. But effective communication. Mm -hmm. and... And number two, check talent. But uh, July seventeenth and July nineteenth, uh, ten hours. Uh, um, the place center and uh, price one hundred thirty. No. One hundred twenty. Twenty. Sorry. <laughs> Ten more. <laughs> One hundred twenty. Um. That's it. Yes. Ah, oh. I it send the note. We re we request request the training. We detailed the information in a specific July 17 and, and July 19, 10 hours, center and price. Okay, thank you, Wendy. So before we go, I'm going to take the attendance really quick and then you guys are free to go. So we start with Ana Beatriz, Ana Lilian, Lang Elizabeth. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, Javier, Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Then Francisca Elizabeth. Jose present. Galileo. Present, teacher, present. Thank you. And Jose Rodrigo. Present, present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present. Luis Alberto. María Concepción. Present. Y Elena. I'm here. Okay. Maria Ivania. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. Eh, Omar Francisco. Present. Eh, Oscar Arrug. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy. Maribel. Present. Jenny Suleiman. Cristian Ernesto. Present. Okay. Present. Os, Jose Arnoldo, Jose Jonathan, Juan Carlos, 
Present. Okay, thank you. And Mayra Moreno. Okay, guys, now you're free to go. Okay, please rest. And I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. I'm going to stay with Jenny. Okay, with Jenny. See you tomorrow. Bye, Good night, Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. Thank you, Miss. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bless you. Bye, thank you. Good night. Blessings. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Yeah. One moment. <laughs> One moment, Jenny. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, Rest teacher. Hello. Ya se lo envié, teacher. No sé si ya le cayó. Uh, eh, link. Sí. Yes. Mm, uh -huh. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Eli. Okay. One moment. Um, okay, so Jenny, hello Jenny. Hi, hi teacher. Hi. How can I help you? Is there something that you need help with? Um, each model is more difficult. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. Uh, I think that for me is is a. Uh, Como que es, es muy difícil quizá mm -hmm. armar las oraciones rápido en mi cabeza y, y really? pronunciación, pronunciación. Sí, es, yo siento de que usted es una de las más inteligentes en la clase, Jenny, y siento de que casi siempre que le pregunto usted tiene la respuesta apropiada. No he sentido que se sienta, bueno, quizás es a veces más uno, ¿verdad? Cómo se evalúa, pero yo evaluándola eh, dentro de la clase, siento que su conocimiento está bien. Por supuesto, uno cuando está aprendiendo un nuevo idioma, uno se siente como que está ahí pataleando, ¿verdad? Como dicen, sí. de que con lo poquito que uno sabe, se, se defiende. Pero es cierto, cada nivel se va poniendo más difícil. Y este es el último de básico. Entonces, sí. por eso es de que va haciendo más. Entonces me dice Jenny que lo que siente que le cuesta es elaboración, estructuración de, de oración. Sí. I, I, I understand the, ¿cómo se llama? Grammar. Ajá. But in, quizás en el momento que me pongo como nerviosa me cuesta como armar a veces las oraciones rápido. Ajá. I will say that that needs practice, Jenny. It needs practice to perfectionate the speaking. That is why I'm Sí, no sé si se ha dado cuenta, pero he tratado bastante de que hagan bastante speaking en, en la clase, porque necesitamos hablar. Y esa es la única manera, Jenny, en la que usted poco a poco se va a ir desenvolviendo. Y al mismo tiempo va a ir necesitando vocabulary. Va a necesitar conocer las palabras para poder decir, ¿verdad?, su idea. Entonces, pues... Mm, con respecto a elaboración, sí siento que eso es lo que más le, le podría aconsejar. No sé si tiene familiares o amigos que sepan inglés. Sí, un poco. Bueno, ajá. Un poco más. Uh -huh. Porque podría practicar con ellos, ¿verdad? Para que practique afuera de la clase. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya que uh -huh. debido a que el grupo es grande, eh, cuesta, ¿verdad? De que, que quizás participen activamente rápido, toma sí. unos minutos que, que pase eso. Pero uh -huh. con respecto a la pronunciation, si usted quiere, puedo poner un párrafo ahorita y podemos tratar de leerlo sí. para que practique pronunciation. Ok, sí, give me one second. Voy a poner el paragraph del manager. Do you remember we read about a manager? Tenemos de five, five things the manager needs. Uh, let me see. Uh, what is it? Ah, okay. I'm going to read it first and then I will listen to you. Okay, so number one says, 
Be a people person. North South is people. And we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know and how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand King Long better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Can you try? Be a people person. In Oxford is people and we are looking for managers who like people. You show you should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate. Mo motivate. Motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon mm -hmm. better than English, you are not a good fit for our, our managerial team. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Okay, the one here will be managerial. Managerial. Aha, uh -huh, managerial. And this Motivator. one, aha, uh -huh, motivate. And this one again? How? 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 Yes, how? How? Can you repeat this one, Jenny? Should? Sure. You're not sure. pronouncing the L, right? No está uh -huh. pronunciando la L, porque the L is silent. Uh -huh. okay. Sure. Sure. Uh -huh. sure. And this one, again? Comfortable. 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 Uh -huh. Like that. Comfortable. Okay, so we will, okay. I will say them one more time. Comfortable. Comfortable. Should. Should. How? How? Motivate. Motivate. Managerial. Managerial. Huh? Managerial. Try one more time. Okay. Uh, comfortable. No. Com I see that. Comfortable. 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 Uh -huh. comfortable. No se pronuncia for, solo comfortable. No. Se como que se. Uh -huh. Comfortable to mm -hmm. how motivate my Nigeria. Thank you. Read everything. Let uh, the whole paragraph, Jenny, please. Be a people person. Knoxford is people in we are looking for managers who like people. You should be con comfortable, comfortable uh -huh. with conflict resolution. You should know how people mm -hmm. work and know how, bueno, sería how, how mm -hmm. to motivate your team. If you are better with computers, that people in understand Klingon better than English, you are not good, not a good fit for our managerial team. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's try with paragraph number two. It says, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Okay, can you try? Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, 
teleconferencing, teleconferencing and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way trip. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their in the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper, upper. upper management mm -hmm. and customers and provide status information when asked. Okay, thank you. You did well, just maybe like three words that we will uh, read again. Number one, teleconferencing. 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 Uh -huh. tele yes. Upper. Upper. Uh -huh. Management. Ma management. Uh -huh. Thank you. A veces el inglés es complicado porque las palabras no se leen como, como aparecen, sí. ¿verdad? Sí. Siempre son como engañosas. Y en español es todo lo contrario. Uno lee todo, todo. Sí, exacto. Uh -huh. sí. But listen to songs, Jenny. Escuche canciones. Listen, uh, watch TVs in English with English subtitles. Trate de, de que su listening, que oiga más cosas en English y poco a poco va a dar frutos. Okay, poco okay. a poco. Porque Thank es you. como, es inmenso. English is uh, huge, right? Entonces, poquito a poquito va a ir mejorando. Ya va a ver. Pero bueno. sí, usted va muy bien. Y pues bueno. siempre veo que está ahí anotando, poniendo atención y tratando, ¿verdad? De, de ir ahí con el nivel de todo. Sí, Así que sí, la sí. felicito por, por su constancia y responsabilidad. Ok, Jenny, I think we will stop here, okay? but we continue tomorrow. Okay? Bueno. Do you have any other questions before I end the meeting? No, teacher. No. Question. no. Ok, no. see you tomorrow, Jenny. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.